Okay, great. Uh, recording has started. Um, okay. I just want to check something, just run some command here. Just want to see if, if I'm getting the output. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, download that just to see. Should make more use of. Lens commands. I did not open the Visual Studio Code there. Stuff converting between data types sometimes uh, can be a bit of a problem, but this is fixable. Uh, we'll fix it. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so, just as, <clears throat> as a comment here before I start. Okay. I'm trying to fix, Stella says she's trying to figure out acoustic modeling. Almost there, that's great. Okay, acoustic modeling, okay, cool. All right, uh, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, so that's what uh, this tutorial is about. Um, I must say, I, I also don't have it completely figured out, um, but we'll look at uh, what tools uh, we can actually use to figure uh, this uh, speech to text. Okay, or acoustic model. All right. So uh, maybe just to recap. Uh, so okay, let's go to to the challenge. Uh, just to look at what we've done so far this week. Okay. So we've looked at on Monday. We've looked at some data description, right, and uh let's say i guess metadata creation right uh which is mostly this file metadata gener generator and then we looked at data pre-processing uh, which is this file we do pre-processing i think both our tutorials were given by by Desmond. and then today it's mostly about this uh, automatic a speech recognition ASR, uh, which is the modeling part, which is here, which is on Wednesday, which is here, <coughs> using deep learning, right, to do that. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so to get to, to the modeling part, of course, we have to do, you know, this these two things uh, like we need to generate some metadata if we need it and then we also need to do uh, some pre-processing and then now we can <coughs> actually get to modeling um so okay just go up there okay uh so i actually this is what i was trying to do here i found out that uh, okay I, was, I think I was, I was being naive, uh, 
you know, with data, uh, you can sometimes you don't you shouldn't expect all the data to be there, right? Uh, I expected it all to be there, and then um, I had the shock of my life. And some of these things take very long to run. <clears throat> so this is our data here. Okay, actually, let's use the one on my local because I think, um, yeah, last I remember, it's not the same to access a shared uh, drive versus when you access your own drive. So you may have with, with Google Collab, uh, if you want to get access to your drive, I don't think it can give you access to, to someone else's shared drive because you don't own it. So I, I remember having those issues, that's why I have the data, but I copied uh, the data into my drive, which is here, which is this one. Um, I actually have <coughs> all the different languages, uh, well, five of them, five African languages, but we're only going to look at uh, Amaric, right? And specifically <coughs> these two folders, chain, right? and test, okay? So what I was saying um, is that uh, there's supposed to be this file, this train underscore corpus. So when you download this file uh, from, from GitHub, okay, I think I've cloned it, let's see. Because, I think it's called A something. Uh, it's called, I think I have the name here. Alpha with two Fs. Okay, so. Alpha. Of course, it begs. <coughs> okay. So when you, when you download this data, right, um, in here, in data, right, or whether it's train or test, this this JSON file here that we're using, we're using it somewhere down here. Uh, okay, let me just search for it. Go faster. So train underscore underscore JSON. It's a uh, it's train corpus. Thank you. Saying thank you to myself because no no one is telling me, right? I did say people are sleeping, guys. Is, <laughs> okay, so so train corpus. So this is the file, right? This is the file that we're expecting, but it's not in here, right? As you can see, it's not in here, um, but it is generated from you know. The files which are in in this directory uh, train and test. So you see, wave is just um, all the audio files, right? So so this file that we need here <coughs> to do some of the work, this train corpus of JSON valid corpus. Well, I think this we can just yeah we can for now we can call it valid, uh, or we may have to like generate another one for test. Uh, so this should come actually from train. Um, anyway, so that's not there, right? So you also probably don't have it unless you generated it with uh, with Desmond in in the first class, right? So which is for for us to to actually play around with any of these things here, we need that, that file, unfortunately. And even on Google Colab, it takes forever to run, right? Um, let's see. Uh, okay, I don't know what the specs are, but there should be <clears throat> uh, there should be some specs here to tell us, you know, how much compute we have. But it's not a lot, right? It's not a lot, so that's the issue. Um, yeah, so that's what I was trying to do here to say, you know, we need this file, so we need to create it. But you know, so it's coming out like this here because we are converting a data frame 
to uh, to a JSON file, right? Which is doable, uh, except uh, these issues here in terms of formatting, right? Because it's giving this thing is a, is a whole string, right? So what we must have is instead of that, instead of having a whole string, we must have uh, dicks, we must have lists of dictionaries, which is, uh, I think we I do have a sample. If I can find it, so it's train, corpus check. I think it's found it like this. There is one, it's not, it's not Amaric because I couldn't find the one for Amaric. So, Let's see here. Actually, now I remember to find it. Um, okay. okay, it's this one. <clears throat> so here. <coughs> We have the actual data, but it's not formatted properly, right? Because you can see this is a data frame, right? It's a data frame with all the different rows, but it needs to be JSON because that's how it's being used here, right? In this make audio gen uh, function. So, okay, so didn't I open it? Okay, <clears throat> so it must look like this, right? This is what we're going for. So each row, basically, it's a it's a it's a mapping. You yeah, you can call it a mapping between uh, different or between the audio file, right, and the text of that, also the transcription of that audio file, and then you also get the duration of that. Right? So this is this is the file. This is the structure that we need to generate, right. Uh, so from this, but it needs to be JSON, right? And yeah, I don't, yeah, debugging like this is a, <coughs> is, is very difficult um, because I got, I got gibberish there, but we should be able to convert. Uh, so maybe let's, if we do dumps, not dump, because I think that matters sometimes. Takes uh, impression, but two are given. Yeah, because I think dumps is dumps through whatever. So anyway, um, I'm just yeah. So the idea is that you need those files, right? So to, you need to do that for, uh, for the train corpus, and the and the test corpus as well, um, and then also have. So I guess from from the train uh, data, you can have a validation uh, data set as well. Anyway, so yeah, that's in a nutshell. What must happen? Uh, I'll I'll debug offline and, and fix it and update uh, this. Okay. Uh, so after you've done that, after you've done this, you know you've, you've created this file. So basically, what I'm going to do is just give a, a summary of sort of the whole process that needs to take place from you know when you do when you get the the data, all the different steps until you get your model, right? So after you've done that uh, metadata generation, then you do the pro processing, right? Which uh, Jason um, Desmond explained um, yesterday, right? All of that, and then now we get to our model, right? Um, yeah. So this is this is a lot. Um, it's quite advanced, right? Uh, but you know, so what I'm doing here is just sort of setting up uh, my environment, of course. I'm working from my drive, then I'm pointing to, you know, to this data set, and I'm, I have my Amaric data set there, right? Uh, I'm checking that what's there. Okay. I'm checking the readme. So we will, I think it's here. Yeah. So there is, a, I think someone was asking uh, I think yesterday or, or the day before yesterday, how do we, uh, how do you evaluate the performance of this speech to text, right? So in this document, in the readme, uh, in the Amaric folder here, uh, yeah, there's a readme in here. I 
think I can open it like this. But they explain the data set, etc. Uh, but what they also do is actually tell you about how they've actually tested um, the performance of uh, this data set uh, on different, um, I guess, algorithms, etc. So here that they're looking at this, there's three ways that you can you can test your algorithm, right? At least according to 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 here, which is the morpheme error rate, the sentence error rate, the character error rate, right? Um, okay, I'm seeing a comment somewhere from Rafa. Yeah, uh, Rafa, the JSON file is not there. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's what I was trying to generate. And it took hours to actually just run, running this takes hours because it's a lot. Uh, I think, um, yeah, I think it's a lot of files. I think there was a place where they checked how many files they actually have, but it's a lot of files, so it takes it takes hours, you know. So for just so just running this um, this here takes hours. So I'll I'm yeah. Sorry, so if I, I can just. Um ask because Michael was asking what is exactly the use for the JSON file and I'm, I'm not yeah. sure that I understand it too. So yeah. Okay, okay, that's fine. So so the uh, I still have my example here. Where's my example? Okay, why well, okay. Oh uh, yeah, okay, here's my example. So do you see this file? Okay, I'm just gonna take one small part of it. One small part of it, and then I will. Okay, this will need to be deleted. Okay, so I'm gonna open a new text file. Uh, okay, so then I will do just fix it like that. I think. Uh, uh, simple the JSON. Save that. I think this should be format document. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> right. So basically what I've done here, right? I've just copied this first line, right? Because all these other lines are the same, right? In terms of structure, right? Um so I've copied this line and I've put it here as a sample of one, right? And this is what the data looks like, right? So you've got key. And then in this case, this is where, this is just the subdirectory where the, the wave file is being stored, the, the audio file is being stored, right? For whoever, for whoever is, is doing the NLP and the projects, right? So for me, uh, if, uh, okay. Uh, Okay, so for me, I think if I can just get some of this, it's a big, big mess, but I hope, hopefully we can make a little bit of sense of it. Uh, it's a key. Oh, uh, okay. I see, what, I see what's happening. Okay. Yeah, so, <clears throat> so what it's done, uh, I can explain it to you, which I'll, I will fix uh, offline. What's happened when I did this, because it's taken because key file names it's like a list right and this is also a list and this is a list so what's done is actually for this json file it's dumped them as 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 they are right it says key and then puts all the files it says text it puts all the uh the the, the target tags right so that's what we're seeing here on this one so that's why we have such a big mess but basically for key for me here would be this uh, let's show you this one part okay there's my right so key that that person has that <coughs> but for me it would be this right so i think so don't worry about this uh, i don't know if that's okay so this uh should be quick the uh, delete here for this, right? Because this is just formatting because now it's from one form to another and it's escaping um, 
it's escaping the the the, slit, the forward slashes, but this is not part of the data. Uh, it's escaping so that you, it, it can keep them, because otherwise, you know, yeah, you know, right? So for for me, this would be key. Right? Key would look like this, or for even for you when you actually do do it, right? It would look like this. Yeah, just like this, right? It would look like this, and then you have your geometry sheet and you also have your text, right? But this is this is where you stored um, your data, right? So remember, we've got alpha public, ASR, Amaric, data train, wave, and then the actual file. Uh, I'm not sure if you are still following uh, Rafa and uh, as it Michael also was asking. Yes, yes, I'm following. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, 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 Michael, I am not sure why they chose JSON here. Um, so, I'm actually just trying to introduce uh, someone as a notebook. Um, so, I'm not sure if you could do what um, what I'm doing now with CSV. I mean, it's something that we could try, but we probably don't have enough time. Um, yeah, I lost a lot of time just trying to generate it. So I'm not sure if you could do it successfully. Because the issue is, um, if, as you say, right? Uh, so of course, here, yeah, this is a, it's a nice pandas data frame which you could, you know, save in a CSV, right? Uh, but here, to this one, right? Uh, it's taking a JSON, right? So if I if I say okay, I'm going to transform it and use a CSV here instead, right? Because that's that's what we have here. Um, this will not work, right? What 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 is happening here? Because because this um, function, right? Uh, okay. This function here, uh, it expects a JSON, right? So if you change from uh, JSON to CSV, it means you have to change also this implementation. Does that make sense? So that, that's why I didn't want to, to mess around too much. I just wanted to make sure that I can show it with just uh, JSON as it was given. But if I change from CSV to JSON, I would have to change this implementation because make Odoo gen is expecting a JSON file. Right, so that's why Jason for now. Um, oh yes, thank you. I think this is what you need. Uh, but I don't. I really don't want to be debugging here, guys. Uh, okay, so we did this. Um, could it be okay? Okay, this the matter as well, right? Um, this to Jason from uh, from the data frame. Jason by rule. Okay, let's just try this first. Actually, Henok is already. Sorry. Uh, Henok is already gives you the parameter I mean, on the chat. Yes, yes, I saw it, but um, how do I use it? Um, because now here I'm using JSON, yeah, right? We can, we can so I have to use. Uh, we check it now. He again can do something. Yeah, the parameter is the, I'm seeing it here. The parameter is for the two JSON uh, method. Oh, so PD to JSON. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if I do, okay. You think PD you can have the and then and then data and then orient is all what I'm saying. Don't think I don't think so. Uh, you can That's just keep it as it was. And then uh, the data dot to JSON, and then to in the inside to JSON, you can pass it as parameters. Uh, do you mind? Do you mind? Sending me the, 
do you mind sending me the, the, the full command here and then I'll just change uh, the data frame. That's why I wanted to check. Uh, I don't quite remember the syntax, but I know you, could, you can do that, but that's what I wanted to check. I don't know the syntax by heart, but yeah, uh, that's, what I, that's why I was checking how to actually do it. So I don't know the syntax by heart. If you do know it, uh, do you mind sending it? Yeah, so I can just use it so we can get our JSON file. Yeah, please send the full, um, because I cannot, so Orient equals records is for pandas. It's not for uh, what I have here. It's not for JSON uh, dot dump, right? So for, so if I, instead of this, right? And do what you're saying with Orient uh, equals records, uh, right? Then I need I need the full command because now I'm I'm, I'm saving sure. to JSON, but then using that's not using the JSON um, module. I, I was just saying use the orient equals record parameter uh, for the two JSON function for the two data uh, data to two, two JSON function. You can keep the line as a rest. Just you say this one. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And then. Inside two JSON, inside the parameters yeah, yeah. JSON. No, no, no. For so, the for the first part. For the oh, yeah. data to the two JSON. Yeah. 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 Is that what you say? Their orient equals records, yes. Okay. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Does that look fine? Huh? You look? I will find can I execute this? Yeah, that, okay. that's what I used. Okay, cool. It seems it's run successfully. Okay, so let's just go find out. Data uh, train. Okay, we've got this one, which, yep, it's 15, uh, 1546. So it's the new one. Uh, let me just delete the one that I have here. Come on. Okay, so turn off this one, turn it a new one. Okay. Uh, fingers crossed, guys. <laughs> this this can really improve um, the tutorial. Can really improve our lives if it's correct. Um, well, we may have to do it for for test. Um, yeah, but we probably won't have enough time to split a uh, train into, uh, what do you call it, into a uh, train and, and valid. And let's see what we have. Is it done? Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, it looks fine. It does still escape, which I don't like. It does still escape. But it looks fine. Let's open it here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, almost not quite, right? Because you see, what we must get is this format this format and the uh, our lines you see so it's got it's got everything so basically yeah it's got everything as a list right so everything is a list and then the list is a it's a, it's a list and then the string right that list has been made a string so if, if I remove that then I've got a list but also we need to remove this and this and then so and then we go to wherever we have a comma we should have a comma somewhere yeah you see we have a comma there and then that would be one row but you see it, it's there's been a lot of okay there's that what else okay let's just look for key okay so yeah but you see this doesn't look right so okay, so this would be would be like that. 
right? It would be one, one line, and this, this would be a second line without the comma, and then etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right? This is the format that we want. But also this escape character string will be here. And I do not oh no, this is fine in text, my bad. This is fine in terms of this code, right? Because it's our manager. Right? That's why we have this code. So this code probably represents this text. So that's fine. Those codes are perfectly fine because we're looking at Amaric. So in the Amaric script, you see, <coughs> uh, in order to represent the Amaric script, you will need uh, probably those are ASCII uh, codes for, for these characters. So that's fine. But yeah, so the issue then what remains is that these escape characters shouldn't be there. And we shouldn't have, you know, the the uh, the square brackets. We shouldn't have the, the double quotes, which is a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of debugging. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure. If, yeah, um, if you guys are more interested in actually getting that file, but I can just, you know, maybe go through uh, the rest of of the notebook without without having this file. It won't be as fun, uh, but I think. <clears throat> we may end up taking a lot of time just trying to generate this file properly. Uh, but yeah, it is possible. Uh, I think the easiest way to do it, but I remember this thing took a very long time, right? Um, the easiest way to do um, would actually be, uh, let's see, okay, let's see. Uh, why not live coding session? Okay. Uh, so I, <coughs> in these things, I think we may have to say zip here. Okay. So let's just try to generate this thing properly if we can. Okay, so we say that. So now we have this list, right? Or oh, an actually, this uh, five. Can do that. Do it old school, okay? Uh, just so we can get it done. So, This is what we have. So we key. Okay. Well, um, so the assumption, right, but which is correct, right, is that all this, these three lists are the same, same length. That's the assumption that I'm making, and I'm sure I'm correct because we're in a data frame. Okay. Uh, so key, we've got text, which is K. Oh, you see now. Uh, this is uh, the suggestion for you on uh, the messages. Okay, let me just check. Then the juice. Uh... Okay, so that this is what we did. Okay, let me try it. Yeah, because I was going to go to old school, uh, which is not as fancy, but you will get the results. Okay. Okay. Let's try this. What? It should overwrite. Uh, what did I do? Okay, so I'm missing it. Current is invalid keyword for open. Okay, I know what I did. Sorry, guys. This should be here. Yeah, should not try to 
have too many statements in the same <laughs> in the same line, right? You try to e extract as much as you can. That seems that that worked. And we have something for this type. Okay, what we'll do is we'll just remove this again and download this. <laughs> Is it done? Okay. No, it's not there yet. Okay. <laughs> now the location is fine. <laughs> The location is fine. If I change the location as well, yeah, it's going to break everything. Yeah, but yeah, let's see. Let's see what we have. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, oh, it's still downloading. Okay. Mm -hmm. We still have the whole list, uh, but it's better. So we only have one escape <laughs> instead of two, uh, and we don't have because we don't have those. So it's not a string; it is a list, uh, as you can see here. Uh, okay, as you can see. Here. <laughs> But it's still, it's not quite, right? It's not quite in this format that we need. Any suggestion about how to fix that? Testify or I think it's else? in that format. Uh, I think the strings, the slash have been there so that for, I don't know, how do I say it? Because of the paths, I think uh, the data we've just downloaded is using the other yeah, no. slash because of the path i agree i agree no I'm, I'm talking about i'm talking about this uh square bracket it's, oh, it's still a list not an array oh okay yeah it's, it's, an, it's an array so the whole uh data set is, is just one big list but we want it to be separate lines like this you see so yeah so i'm not worried about the slash the the escape character because it's just saying that you know escape this and keep it there. That's fine. If if it gives us problems, we can deal with it. But that's not a big problem. The big problem is that it's not uh, each dictionary is not in a separate line. Um, Ulu. Oh, sorry, there was no comments that I didn't see. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't remove open because because open is just saying we that this file needs to be created. Where is it? It just says this file must be created. Um, so, uh, so this file, the assumption is that the file doesn't exist. So we're doing something into a file. Uh, but okay, this, okay. Benefit of the doubt, right? Because <coughs> probably it's something that, uh, but I don't think it's going to change anything <clears throat> because it's just saying that make sure that this file exists. So it would really won't change anything in terms of the structure that, that we have. Right? Uh, okay, so I'm going to remove that, download the other one. So as that does, let me just see if I can finish my old school one here. Okay. Uh, so right line, <clears throat> does not work. Okay, and then I think, the, okay, I'm not done here. So I wanted to do, okay, this is I, this is K, and this is, what is the name? This duration. It's done, so I'll, I mean, I mean uh, here, it's done. We'll 
do it now. We'll check while, while this runs. Let's, let's hope this runs properly. Okay, so you wouldn't need this anymore. So I'm adding it directly. Okay, let's see if that runs. Uh, okay, so with, <coughs> okay. Uh, but I would say, I'll just call it a different name because we wouldn't have something there. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I hope, I hope we don't have those codes. <laughs> okay, it's done. But let's check uh, what was it, test fire, what is suggested. Okay, let's check that. Uh, it is, it, this is the new download, I believe. Nope. Uh, yeah, so it's refreshed, so that's the new one. Okay, so let's download this one that I've just done. So, oh, so, okay, wow. <laughs> I almost got the shock of my life. Zero uh, kilobytes. Okay, so let's do that for two. Ah, guys, I think we're in luck. Okay, maybe let, let me just see, because I don't see the next line. Uh, but let's open it here. See, even the, the Amharic characters are showing in Amharic. So, ah, you see, there's one thing that needs to be changed. Did you understand? Okay, guys, you see what's going on here? So all the lines have been have been added as separate lines without the codes, without the the uh, this square bracket to show that it's a list. Right? The issue is only here that here there should be a next line. And then what? And then of course there's the issue of <coughs> single quotes versus double quotes. But I think when we, we read it in, it won't be a problem because here it's showing against single quotes. But I think it does need double quotes. But uh, you know, I am using it as double quotes. It's a it's a Python thing, um, but uh, if if it gives you problems, it's a uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's it's a small fix. It's a small fix that you would require. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's remove this one. Okay, then we'll start with the new one. Which is this one. Yeah, so we can have the, the, the you can try it out if you want to do it, you know, as a CSV, because I mean, you saw what we just went through here, <laughs> uh, which is, yeah, should have, so, yeah, it's, it's coding, what can we say? <clears throat> but let's load that again. Yeah, it is old school, you can, <clears throat> find a better way. I just wanted to show that it's possible, it's doable, right? This is so old school. Uh, there are better ways of writing that code these days. Ah, Eureka, that's what we need, right? There's still the issue of, you know, <coughs> it doesn't see it as JSON when it's single quotes, right? That's why, that's why it's red. So if it's double quotes, it will it sees it as JSON. That's the only difference. Uh, but I think it, it's something that's fixable, right? Cool. So that's the that's the format we need, which is the same format as yeah. I don't know. I'd open another, which is the same format as this. You see here, they also have double quotes, but the structure is the same. We've got a list of you know keys with. Uh, of which point to the file, your audio file. There's uh, also a uh, duration and text, right? Which is what we have here. Uh, so we have here. Duration, it's in, a, it's in a different order, but I don't think it matters as much. Um, yeah, so maybe guys, uh, I'll, I'll upload this. You can regenerate it. I'm, I'm looking at the time now, um, but you can regenerate it and then um, you have this file and this file, 
right? Yeah, so mostly from this one, uh, you you rerun it, right? With with this, right? You will have your train corpus, you also have your valid corpus, right? Here you, with this code, I'll show you how to get the, the, the test one. The valid one, you just split it and yeah, and then you just rerun this um, this modeling script. There's a there's a lot going on here. Um, very technical things, but just uh, play around uh, with all these things. Um, it's things like you know MFCC, uh, it's things like CTC. You know, play around with, with those um, and see what they give you. Try to understand the theory behind them, and then um, like I was also showing you. Um, how to check for accuracy, right? So if you see here, you know, uh, at the very end, you know, this is, you know, how you check for, for, your, for your accuracy, right? The truth, I mean, I don't speak Arabic, so maybe for someone who does, they can listen to the audio and read and, and, and see that it is correct, right? And this is the word elevate, which is something that here, as I was showing you, I showed you uh, three types of error rates. Uh, I see there's a comment, I'll look at it. I showed you three types of error rates, uh, MER, SER, and CER, right? But now you saw that there's the, another one, WER, <coughs> and it, there is a function that implements that here. I think it's, uh, yeah, so there is a function that does that implementation. But I'm sure you probably don't have to implement this from scratch. Uh, you can find in some statistical packages where this has been implemented because it's not new, right? So you can find a, a more optimal uh, sort of version to implement the word error rate. You also try all these different error rates here and then compare them, right? Um, so let me just check the comments. Uh, Michael, it's it's shared as I just have named it. Um, it's shared uh, as uh, what's the name of that? I'll show you now. It's as uh, it's called speech recognition food. The same one. Um, I haven't made much uh, many changes. Uh, yeah, so it's the same one that's here. Um, if you run it on, this is the one where I have actually, actually just generated this. Uh, you you have to change uh, directories from mine to yours. And yeah, and you're good to go. Um, any other questions? That's fine. No, 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 no. The... Yes, thank you, Tanakani. Um, the value this one said is not shared, it's not given. It's the same as this. Right. So what I was saying is that you see here we've, we've done this, <coughs> we've created the corpus for for the train, right? You need to create sort of do the same thing. Basically just change from, from train to test here. And then you write it in a different file, right? You write uh, uh, maybe you write it here, also you have you know, tests there and test there, right? So just wherever you see train, change it to test. So run it for train and then run it for test. And then with the train one, uh, so this will also be test. With the train one, create a validation. So you need three data sets, train, validation, and test. So you, for the first time you work with train and, and validation, and then when you are sure that your model works properly, then you use the test. So, so that's that's what you need to do. Yeah, I'm not sure if I missed any other questions. Yeah, I'm sorry we spent too much time just generating a file, but I hope it's going to help in terms of the work that you need to do going forward. Hey, no. Okay, please try that. <laughs> uh, instead of uh, to Jason uh, to Dick. Uh, yeah, try it. Um, and then, and then, yeah, let us know on, on Slack uh, what you get. Uh, but this works, it's old school, it probably takes too long. I mean, if you have a larger file, 
then this is probably not efficient, right? So if you change this, what Henlock is saying is that <clears throat> instead of this, you do two dates instead of two, two JSON, right? Uh, but I'm not sure what else you need to change. Um, but yeah, it's, it's something that that's worth uh, trying out. Uh, try it out, let us know on Slack. And also try, there's a lot of uh, stuff that's happening here, right? A lot of transformations, um, you know, a lot of modeling that's happening. Most of it is, you know, it's like hard coding, etc. Uh, see if you can <clears throat> use this and see where you can optimize and, and use, uh, you know, uh, in, in builds. Uh, you know, functions and yeah, from from libraries, right? Because because yeah, when you write like this, you are you are prone to make a lot of errors. So try to reuse what as much as you can. Yeah, but play around with this uh, with the JSON files that you generated, and and let us know on on like um, how you're going. Okay, I think I'm not sure if there's anything else. Olufemi, Olufemi has had his hand raised for the longest time. Olufemi, please I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. All right. Um, the question is that uh, I'm quite confused about the acoustic modeling in the past. So what is the difference between the acoustic modeling and the modeling in task two, you know, that's one as um, the last task for that one is acoustic modeling. So, what is the difference okay. between that and the task two that you are doing? Where? What is the difference between task one acoustic modeling with okay. uh, and this task one. two? This one. Yes, yes. Data pre processing and yes. this one. Yes, at, at the end, you know, there, there is a positive modeling at the end of task one. Okay, at the end of task one, yes. Acoustic yeah. After features like extract this, which is a pass to acoustic models. Yeah. Yeah. So it to, to, to the basic units of speech So, yeah. like that, because I, when, I, when, I, when I went online, it's like they're building a deep learning model also. So when if you are doing that, that means you are already doing tax too. So I want to ask what is the difference between the acoustic modeling and then what we are doing in tax too. Uh, I think this would be more basic, right? Um, this would be more basic uh, modeling because you see what they are doing here is that they are converting attempts to map the audio signal to the basic units of speech, such as phonemes and graphemes. That's the output that you're trying to get with an acoustic model. So this is your <clears throat> your expected output. So from from the sound, they want you to extract. Uh, like I'm gonna delete this. Uh, they want you to extract phonemes or graphemes. Uh, yeah, it's just I think there's a you know like parts of speech or is you know parts of a word and now you divide them etc. Right. I don't think with this one. I think it's the whole text to speech or speech to text which is probably like the whole sentence right so this is that's that's my my, my understanding at this point um i could be wrong but that's yeah so this is more basic uh just sort of splitting uh, sound into different parts but this would goes uh, further right and you so for example here <clears throat> if you see here what we have you see this is a whole sentence you see that it's not just a, a, a phoneme or a graphic. Uh, so, uh, so my my English uh, class escapes me. It's phoneme, smallest unit of speech distinguishing one word from another, right? And then there's a graphing and more, etc. So this is what I think for this part. That's what they're trying. Uh, they're asking you to get for this part. So that means that you are building a model? Uh, yeah, you could be building a model um, or you could be using statistical tools. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you are able to, you could just, yeah, probably the statistical tools that you could use that already exist, okay. but probably okay. you, can, uh, you could use machine learning okay. as well to, to build it. Uh, yeah, we will confirm uh, as well, but for now I think 
video problems just using statistical tools because it says nothing about modeling. Okay, it is then any material you can reference. I've been trying to get some materials online, I was not able to get it. Say again? Is there any material I could reference? I've been trying to get some material. This, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, so remember, did anyone? <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm also guilty. I didn't read the whole uh, paper. Remember last was it last week? Uh, I I just realized that. But yeah, I, I would I'll try to share more. But I just realized that you know some of this content here. Uh, if I can, I'm not sure if I can open this. So more more especially. Uh, you know, MFCC, it's explained in great detail in the research paper that I, you know, uh, I showed you last time. Uh, so this is my wife's uh, master's report. She did it at UCT. Uh, okay, so Gino uh, Lamini. Now she's by the way, of course. But anyway, so if you look for MFCC here, um, you know, she, she, she goes into it uh, quite a lot. Right, so her research was more about, this is acoustic modeling actually, but it was more about being able to determine uh, the, the dif determine uh, different, uh, was it uh, crickets, right, from, from their sounds, right? Can you tell from the sound of a cricket which cricket it is, so that you can be able to uh, check uh, the population of the crickets uh, in, an, in, a, in an ecosystem, whether you know, maybe climate change is killing uh, uh, wild uh, animals, etc. Right. So this is what this is what she was doing for for a report, and she talks about <clears throat> this uh, MFCC, just uh, male frequency uh, substrial coefficients, which is something that even here uh, it's it's being used, right? So if you wanna maybe understand a bit more, uh, you can consult consult the paper, and and see. Uh, so you will see that. Actually, uh, you could even try some of the models that she has. So you see here, she's getting 99.67% uh, accuracy. It's getting 98.6% uh, accuracy, you know. Uh, and then I think the random forest didn't do well, it was about 67. You know? But yeah, this is, this is stuff that you could try. Um, yeah, there is code online. If if you want me to share it, I can share it. But yeah, if just so, so you can learn more about some of these concepts. But yeah, the implementation is different. It's not text to speech. It's using uh, sounds to differentiate uh, different crickets. But some of there's a link in terms of some of the tooling, uh, statistical tools that you uh, you can use to segment um, you know sounds. So I think, yeah, so if, I think this may be more linked to what you're asking here in terms of acoustic modeling. But yeah, you, it does go further where you actually use deep learning. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, thank you. I'll, I would still try to go online to source yeah. some materials to use. Thank you. No problem. Sure. Is there anybody else? <laughs> uh, now I had now. Uh, someone, people are still trying to solve for. Please try it out <laughs> uh, for the JSON. Please try it out. Uh, yeah, so it's a fun coding exercise. Just try it out. Uh, let me know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, yeah, guys. I think we can you know give you more time to to actually work on 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 the tasks if there are no more questions. But yeah, um, the Slack. Uh, within your groups as well. I think many of us are part of, of your groups. So if there's something that you're struggling with and you're raising it within the group, we should be able to see and assist. Yeah, that's it for me. Uh, if there's nothing else, I think, um, Anastasia, you can end the recording. Cheers, guys. Chat on, 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 on Slack, etc.